Hi, I'm Becky Perez. Welcome to Amazing Science Lessons. Today I'm going to demonstrate a math activity. We are going to measure bananas using non-standard measurement. We're going to use Unifix cubes to measure bananas. We're going to use bananas and we're going to use Unifix cubes. And why are we using bananas? Because in science we have been learning about bananas. So let me show you how to do this activity. We're going to, I'm going to place the bananas here and we're going to measure. We want to know the length of the banana and we're using non-standard measure. We use uh, Unifix cubes. So what we do first, we ask the children how, how many Unifix cubes are we going to use to measure this? So we're going to place it here. First of all, we'll just place them here in front and just put them here all around the banana so they can see to see how long. We want to know how long or how many Unifix cubes does it take the length of this banana. Okay, so we go all around it and then we count it. And it's so important that we touch as we count. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, okay, it took twelve Unifix cubes to measure this uh, uh, banana. Okay, let's try another banana. Let's try the red banana. Oh, wow, this is longer, so that means we got to take some away. But let's take some away. Okay, let's take two away. Let's count now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it was less. Okay, it was less. So let's measure this another banana. Let's try the Nino banana. Is it more or is it less? Ah, it's less. So let's take some away and let's count. One, two, three, four, five. So the Nino banana is five Unifix long. Okay, let's try the plain tame banana. Wow. What do you think about this one? It's more. So let's add some more Unifix cubes and then we'll count them. How many Unifix long is this plain? Tame banana. Let's see. Let's add some more. And we continue to do this. Okay. And then we'll count again. And of course, it's so important that they touch because here it is one to one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17. So it's 17 Unifix cubes long, this banana. And they know that it's bigger, so it's long. Now, and you continue to do this for several days. You practice it. They can, you can have this at, 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 um, at a center, you know, the math center or anywhere, you know, because everything's science-based, so we leave it there. But then we can take this activity a, a little further, and we can compare. We can compare bananas, for example. We can take... The two bananas and we can compare. Now we're taking it a little bit further and again we're going to compare the two and to see and again they're going to see which is longer or which is long or which has more which is less. Again we're stressing more and less. We're reinforcing more of more and less. We continue to do this and then we count and this is you know after you've practiced doing it just with one, now we're doing it with two, comparing two. So let's count. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it took twelve of the cannabis to do the bananas and let's see the red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So see, they see the difference that this one has more and this one has less. Okay, now let's try to do it with a smaller one. And again, we can take some away and they can see it here. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? And again, we counted these and these were ten. So see, they're seeing the difference between the two, which is less and which is more. Okay, let's try this, compare this big one. We can put it here, and again, this one. 
place it here and then it's so important that they count again let's count it let's try this one I'm going to try to try it again place it place it here and comparing the two compare which is more and which is less the children that and they love doing this and uh, counting and weighing and they have been doing that together and it's non-standard see how long again we'll start here one two three four five six seven eight, nine, ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen looking at another one of course these are larger numbers but they can see the concept in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And see, they can see the difference. Look at that. And they've, they've measured it, and they know this is heavier and this is more. But we can take it to another level, and we can bring back the balance scale. Remember? And then we can try using the balance scale now. By you, they know how to use the balance scale, so we can measure now using it, which is more and which is less. So we'll take it, and we'll put this in here. And put these in here and see what do you, which one do you think is going to be more just by looking at this and of course they're going to know but they've had a lot of practice and see how many so many activities you can do with this there's so many activities and you can use other manipulatives it's just a great way to introduce uh, measurement non-standard measurement using other manipulatives and it's just a, a just wonderful way to problem solve the children just love doing all this and they learn so much. This concludes the demonstration. Thank you.